No. New York Mets starter Noah Syndergaard has a torn ulnar collateral ligament in his right elbow and is expected to undergo Tommy John surgery in the near future, sources tell ESPN. The procedure will keep him out until at earliest April 2021 oh. and likely into the summer months. Wow, what a blow. There you go. Oh, that's oh awful. God. That's why. This, all I, this I thought he was poised to have a gigantic year. Of course. That's a... That's why it was such folly, Michael, about them trading mats. Because they had extra pitchers, right? So let's trade mats away. Well, you, you shouldn't be trading any pitchers away. Because all you are is just a, a Jeff Passan report away from losing a starter for the next year. That's how crazy the sport is right now with their pitchers. So That's I, just that's crippling. And, and, and I'm assuming, Michael, that... He's not having the surgery now because that's an elective surgery, I guess, right? I mean, well, they said in the near future. They, in the they, near future, they, they could find places to have surgery for these guys. I know, but it, it, is uh, is that something you want a doctor to be doing? Right? I, I get. I don't know, Michael. I, I'm just. I'm. I'm just wondering if the reason he's not having it tomorrow is, is that they want to see where this whole thing is going. But you would think the the quicker he has the surgery, the quicker he comes back. But I'm I'm not sure people are thinking that way right now. My I mean, goodness. this situation could go on for six months if, if if you wait six months to do it. And I understand exactly what you're saying. He's not going to be back till 2022. Wow. I'm just saying he's in New York right now, right? Or, or is he in Florida? I don't know. I mean, I how, no honestly, how do you have Tommy John surgery in New York right now where they're, they're, they're prepping the Javits Center to put patients in? You know, I mean, I just don't think you want to be thinking about that right now. Now, surgery has to happen. And I'm not saying it's elective surgery. It's not what he's having is Tommy John. It is not having a cosmetic surgery. I mean, it's his his career. He has to have it. But I'm just saying, at this particular moment, when they're prepping the Javits Center for patients, is it an, is it a good idea to have it like tomorrow? Unbelievable. Just an. Uh, I mean, what a shocking story. So Robbie yeah, Anderson first contract. to the Panthers, and then that gets blown away by Syndergaard having to undergo Tommy John surgery. And I, I got to tell you what. We live in an era now where everybody throws as hard as they possibly can. And I'm sorry, the arm does not hold up. You cannot go full bore and throw 99 miles an hour from the first through the eighth inning. We saw what happened with Severino. We're seeing what happens with Syndergaard. I think if, if players throw as hard as they possibly can and build up muscle, it's eventually going to give out. The body is not built to that. A guy like Jacob deGrom, who, yes, he throws hard, but also has off-speed stuff, too. And he has had Tommy John surgery earlier. The bottom line is he could last longer. I think guys that don't throw as hard are likely to last longer than the guys that just go full bore from the first pitch to the hundredth. Because Noah Syndergaard, was, uh, his stuff was electric. Well, it's not just Absolutely fastball, electric. He, he throws a 90-mile-per-hour slider. Yep. You know, so that's the I don't stuff know if that the arm, I don't think the I don't think God built the arm for that, Don. No, and and you just wonder when you sign a a, a pitcher, do you like do the Yankees just look at the nine years they gave Cole and said we just know one of those years he's going to miss because of Tommy John? Like do you do you do you go into that assumption because like every pitcher is going to probably have it at some point in their career. I don't know if that's what they factor in. You know, I was thinking about no. that too. Like say, God forbid, this this whole season is missed, which isn't crazy. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's a, a non-starter. I mean, it could be. Then the Yankees, even though they don't, in all likelihood, they won't have to pay him, one of the nine years is, is, is one of his prime years he just took away. So there's a lot of factors in this. But with, with Syndergaard, wow, wow. That's, I, did, I love to watch that, that guy pitch. I usually, just love watching him pitch. I'll tell you, usually you get the whole, well, he's not throwing right now, I would get, or maybe if he is, it's not as supervised as it was when spring training was actually on, but usually you get some sort of a warning. Like he walked away, he was feeling, feeling soreness, you know, that he's going to get double-checked later on. It just went from, bang, 0 to 60. Perfectly healthy, planning for the season, bang, gone for a year. 